All right, on to developments now from the world of a technology. In the United States, the Biden administration is planning to regulate advanced US-made AI models to protect them from China. According to reports, the Commerce Department is considering restricting the export of closed-source AI models. This development will add to previous efforts made by the US to block the export of AI chips to China. Currently, US AI giants like OpenAI and Google can sell their AI models to anyone in the world without US government's supervision. AI models mine vast amounts of text and images to summarize information and generate content. There are concerns from the government and private sectors that US adversaries could use these AI models for cyber attacks or biological weapons. According to sources, this uh, Commerce Department is far from finalizing the rules. The move which is under consideration shows the US government's efforts to counter Beijing's AI ambitions. Ofcom, UK's communications regulator, has asked social media companies to take to tame toxic algorithms or risk billions in fines. And this includes TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and Snapchat. Ofcom has drafted a list of over 40 proposals that tech companies need to implement under Britain's Online Safety Act. This includes robust age checks, effective re removal of harmful content and reformulating the platform's algorithm to steer children away from toxic material. Understand that social media companies use software called an algorithm to prioritize content and keep users engaged. Companies recommend content that's based on the user's past behavior on the app, their gender, their age and other relevant information. The Online Safety Act allows Ofcom to impose fines of up to $22.4 million for 10% of the company's global revenue, whichever figure is greater. Companies have until 17th of July to respond to Ofcom's proposals. Now what you're seeing on your screens right now is the world's largest 3D printer called Factory of the Future 1.0. The printer is designed to tackle the shortage of homes and construction workers in America. Future 1.0 is capable of printing a house within a day or two, which then can be installed on site in just a few hours. Of course, here are visuals of a regular printer, but these printers are required for constructions as well. And those are the ones which are used in industries. University of Maine is currently building a 3D printed neighborhood that will consist of nine homes for people at risk of homelessness. Researchers believe the tech could come in handy in other industries such as military and defense. 